So on behalf of the whole Tragopan team, we just hope that everybody's doing all right out there and dealing with this uh, situation that we're finding ourselves in as best as you can. Now, originally I had the model hide out next to a lock and I was photographing golden eyes. I didn't quite finish up that project, so I'm gonna leave that for a little bit later in the year. The UK is currently on a lockdown, so we're kind of restricted a little bit in movements. I can't really go out and do um, and do set up hides and things like that like I normally would. So we're gonna set up the model hide in the garden instead. Luckily, I've just moved to a place where I, have, where I have a very big garden and I have tons of bird life in my garden. So I can just need to attract them a little bit in front of the hide where I want them. So today, to start out this project, I'm just gonna be spending a bit of time here in the garden. I've got my binoculars with me and I'm gonna try to observe as if any of the birds have actually started to nest yet. I've actually started putting out some material in the garden, um, just a little bit of bigger branches, bigger twigs for the jackdaws, and also some smaller, finer stuff. Like I got some cotton, I got some feathers, and some moss, and smaller grasses. And we're just going to leave here in the garden in the hopes that we can get um, get birds to get the nesting material. It might still be a little bit early in the year because I'm quite north in Scotland and it's actually quite chilly yet. So we'll see how it goes. But anyways. I'm just gonna spend some time observing. Be sure to stay tuned until the end. We're gonna draw the winner of the grouse hide from the competition last month. Few hours spent out here today and the jackdaws are definitely going back and forth to this chimney they're actually dropping into it it's really cool to see um, they haven't taken any of the nesting materials that i've left out for them and since i haven't seen any of the other birds they just seem to be uh, coming to the feeders and jumping around um, feeding in places i don't think they've started nesting yet and it is quite chilly we're still quite north of scotland so far of the migrating birds, I've only had one chiff chaff uh, around that I've heard, and that was a week ago, so I think it's moved on. So none of the migrant birds have actually um, come here to this area just yet that I've, that I've seen yet. So it's still a bit early in the season here. We are quite far no north. Just to be sure, I'm gonna put out some food as well for them. Uh, if we're still in isolation next month, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be continuing this project, and we'll put out some nesting materials and hopefully kind of support the birds that way. And Maybe get some photos along the way. Let's put a hide and some feeders out and the nesting material. For the model hide, a lot of times for short sessions, I just use the pegs on the four corners of the hide. But you got these guy wires as well, and I'm probably gonna leave this hide up for a couple of days. So just to make sure that it stands up in the wind, I'll put these on the four corners as well. As you can see here now, I've taken off the ground sheet and Usually I have that in when I wanna when maybe when I wanna lie down or camp in or anything like that. But right now I wanna take it off, but I'm gonna keep it in here. Cause so I'm gonna put a chair in here and I'm gonna shoot from this front window here at height um, when I'm photographing them on the log and on the feeders and that. But then also I wanna have the option of lying down and shoot using the bottom window here. And then I'll actually keep the ground sheet in here, but I'll just roll it out and I'll lie on top of it. 
I also have a rollout, foam rollout mat. It's a bit, a bit comfier to lie on. And then I'll photograph out the bottom window when I want to do that. Now, if you can see out front, the front window here, I've actually, this is an add-on that you can get for the heights. And it's an additional, basically a, sh um, a mesh that you can attach to the door. So I have this for the front door here. So it gives me then this larger open area that I can look out of and then I can shoot out of. So it's, it's a re really handy addition if you're using one of the front and if you're shooting up top. So, had the hide up for a couple of days now and been really successful with it. I've had, had a lot of birds come to the, I've had two different bits of wood out here, so I've had a bit of variety of what, um, what they've been sitting on. I've also experimented with a couple of different branches here. I've been jumping on and off that. And then, this is quite an adaptable hide. I also lie down inside it and photograph from ground level. And I got some pigeons, some wood pigeons and jackdaws and um, even chaffinches running around feeding on the ground as well. So unfortunately, nothing came to try to take any of the nesting material that I have out. You see here I had bits of feather and small twigs, um, mosses, and even put some cotton out. And I had some bigger branches out as well here for the jackdaws, but Nothing came to take the nesting material this time, and I think it is just a little bit too early. We've actually had, you know, it's been minus a couple of degrees um, overnight in the last couple of nights, so 
it's been um, it's been fluctuating wildly. We're north of Scotland. It's going to take a little bit longer up here. If we're in isolation for next month's video as well, for the month of April, then I'm going to try again. Put up a hide, and I'm going to put out more nesting materials. I'm going to try and um, attract some birds that way as well. So I think that could be really cool for next month's project. So the, for the winner of last month's competition, we used the YouTube random comment picker. And it picked Martin Vanderbilt. So congratulations to you, Martin. And best of luck with your projects. He says in his comment here who he wants to photograph kingfishers, roe deer, and beavers. So take care, everyone. I'll see you next month.